drive at participating Walmarts. You know what? Everyone needs a friend who can be a name dropper sometimes. And Sean Phipps is that friend for me. That's He's cool. here with Chattanooga Tourism Company. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to wear my logo today. Which it's, is? It's, it's under there. The Chattanooga logo is under here. I oh. did wear. Is that the name you're going to drop? No. No. We're dropping up. So, so Sean's a bit of a comic. You know, you see him come on the show regularly. He loves Chattanooga. He loves to uh, support Chattanooga, get all of us out there touring it around like we're a tourist, even though we're all locals. Okay. And you often come talking about things that I'm aware of. A lot right. of people are aware of. Today, you throw me a curveball. You yeah. are talking about somebody, and I don't know who he is, and I should. Oh, you're going to be blown away. Yeah, so I, I guess the setup is that we were, you know, we come in here a lot, and, and our job at the Chattanooga Tourism Company, Visit Chattanooga, is to promote things to do and experiences. But what really makes our community great uh, that we're known for, we just got the friendliest city by Condé Nast. Oh, we're, that's right. Remember that. Yeah, we're super friendly. I it's buried our people. the lead on that one. It's our people, right? And, mm -hmm. and one of the things that, that we have in our people is a great mix of these amazing creators who are often doing this work in a small studio on the outskirts of town. And occasionally you'll see them brought to life, but they, they choose Chattanooga as a home but they're doing work on a national level that is appreciated. And the uh, person we're featuring today is one of those amazing artists. So do you want to set us up for this artist to let us know where we may have seen his work before, or are we going to learn of that in the video? I think you learn about it in the video and we'll talk about him after. Okay. Here's the name he's dropping. This CHA spotlight celebrates the works of a Chattanooga sculptor. Isaac Duncan. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York in the late 80s. When I was in elementary school, I did art and it was as, as a way to uh, relieve stress. After learning about um, what was going to happen, understanding that this was an opportunity to be one of the first artists in this collaboration with Chad Nugent and Iron Man, I thought it would just be a great honor to be a part of. One of the things that I love about being here and one of the things that I learned from experience but also my mentors, you don't need to be in New York City or LA or Chicago or Miami to make your art. You need to be in a place, which is your haven, where you can relax where you can make the best you. Of course, Chattanooga is known for its outdoors and its scenic views. But while you're taking in the experience, don't forget to be on the lookout for our public art, especially Isaacs. This space in this community has really provided me with the ability to be my best me. And uh, that's why I choose to stay here. This is a CHA Spotlight, only at visitchattanooga.com. I love that line about you don't have to live in New York or LA, right. just live where you're inspired. And he's talking, Isaac Duncan is, is, is a wonderful local sculptor. He works with metal. And we started working with him on the Iron Man 10th anniversary medal. And he submitted this amazing design that spoke of Native American history, of African American history, but kind of wove into the fabric. He's really incredible. Um, but yeah, you're right. It's the ability to have Chattanooga as a home base mm -hmm. that allows him to relax, that allows him to really dive into his work. How long has he been here? Do you know? He's been here for a long time. A long time. Yeah, a long time. He came from New York um, and he's been working locally. And I love the shots. You saw some of his work just out in the street. Yeah. And, and Chattanooga's public art, every piece of public art is intentional and it tells a story. And we have more public art than Atlanta. Well, I'm not surprised about that. And all you have to do is travel a little bit and you come back home and you go, oh, I miss, I didn't see what we have wherever you had just right. been. It's very unique, the amount of art that we have. There is, and there's something unique around every corner. You know, I, I love walking through um, the West Village, mm -hmm. past the Reed House, and just past the Reed House, past inside out, you turn and look, and there's an 
an alleyway that's just covered in umbrellas. Yeah, oh yeah. They're brightly covered. Where you see all the kids at prom. Right. You know, the uh, the famous dog, the high four that mm -hmm. used to be at the south end of the Walnut Street Bridge. Right. That when you ran by, you always gave it a high five. And then the old, is that, oh, that's the different one. And then there's the, the fountain on Georgia oh, Avenue goodness. right yeah. there that's been there forever. Yeah. It, so some tribute, of the art's old, some's new. A tribute to the firemen yeah. uh, you know, of long time. We used to have alligators around it. I mean, this. Yeah, that's right. The art and um, memorials and interesting things to look at, that's always been a part of Chattanooga. Well, and I think that the thing to stress with the minute we have left is if you're not having a chance to come, especially into downtown, and see how it's growing and changing as new people from other parts of the country come in to add to our fabric, uh, you're really missing it because you don't want it just to be for the tourists. We want to enjoy it too. Yeah, and I think one of the things that I would tell locals is, is as you walk around, to stop for a moment and, and take a look. You know, why is this interesting sculpture in the middle of the sidewalk here? And often they have plates on them that you can learn more about the artist. And if you look those artists up, you might be surprised that they live right here in Chattanooga. Well, I'm happy to know that I knew him, Isaac Duncan, without knowing I knew him. Yeah, you know, he's everywhere in Chattanooga. Thank you, thank you. He's yeah. like Santa Claus. Yeah, well, I guess so. <laughs> You can always learn more at visitchattanooga.com. That's the website. You can watch more of these videos. They're so well produced. Make you proud to call Chattanooga home. Aqua Living now has 14 hot tubs under $49.99. Our patent pending thermofill will fill your hot tub with hot water on demand. Then drain it when you're done, eliminating the need for chemicals and high electric bills. Shop us now at shophottubs.com. No broccoli in the casserole, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Dad. Can I sit at the grown-ups table this year? We'll see.